trying to figure out how to get autofocus to work with the DJI LiDAR system utilizing the Sigma 17 to 50 millimeter 2.8 lens. Well, in this video, I'll be showing you some example footage of how I got it working with my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K. Let's dig in. So there's a few things that you're going to want to keep in mind when you're doing this. The setup process for this lens I found to be a bit different than when I was doing some initial search on YouTube for the setup process of the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter lens. The difference being that between these two lenses, the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter lens, it has an internal zoom, which means it doesn't increase in length or anything like that when it comes to zooming in with that lens. All of that's done internally. And because that's the case, well essentially the focus distance is the same no matter which, which focal length you're at, whether that's 18 millimeters or if you're at 35 millimeters, it doesn't matter. It's gonna utilize the same focal focus distance for the lighter system. With the 17 to 50 millimeter, it's a different ball game because when you zoom, the focus distance is different for each focal length that you can zoom to. And so you have to keep that in mind. So when it comes to programming in a lens for the DJI LiDAR system to calibrate to utilizing this particular lens, you won't be able to just on the fly switch and zoom in to a different length. You'll need to focus it at, at the length that you plan to utilize with shooting. So if you plan to shoot on this lens using the 28 millimeter focal length, well then that's what you're gonna to wanna to calibrate it to because the focus dif uh, distance is going to be different than if you're utilizing it at the 15 millimeter focal length, whereas the focus distance would be a lot uh, wider for the uh, DJI LiDAR system to interact with. Another tip that you're going to wanna to keep in mind when utilizing the DJI LiDAR system with this lens is that I particularly needed to utilize the included lens support strap that allows you to essentially pretty much throw a hoop around your lens in the 15 millimeter rod and just securely wrap it with the Velcro to ensure that even during the gear pulls and stuff that that gear stays snug against the uh, the gear rings on your lens. I noticed when I didn't have that in place, the gear thing just kept popping out of place when it was calibrating and it was really frustrating. So those are some tips to have in mind when you're setting this up and trying to get this to work. But yeah, with that being said, I'll go ahead and roll the test footage of the end result of me getting this to work. Well, folks, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button. Consider subscribing to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. I'll also be affiliate links in the description if you're curious about checking out any of the components used in this setup. Me personally, I found this whole LiDAR system for my needs and my use cases as just like utilizing this in a studio environment to be overly cumbersome, so I did end up returning the system itself. And I'm back to just manual focus with my Blackmagic Pocket Cinema Camera 4K for the time being.